All right, everybody, welcome to the Element Cup. Uh, with this setup, we're going to be going ahead and going over my first couple days uh, battling while trying to figure out what team I wanted to use for this cup. I eventually settled on Growlithe, Cottony, and Ducklet, with my Ducklet having Aerial Ace and Brave Bird instead of Bubble Beam because I just wanted to go ahead and have like a mini Skarmory, basically. And then as for Cottony, it's, it's literally just Seed Bomb and Charm because, I mean, that's all you really need. And then after that, it's going to be Growlithe with just Body Slam for now because, I mean, you pretty much just need Bubble Beam, possibly, and Body Slam just to get through this cup. If you guys enjoy this footage, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and then hit that notification bell to stay tuned for when I actually come out with uh, my longer content versus my YouTube shorts that I always release. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start going into these battles now with the OBJ uh, Pokemon. It's Cottony versus Ducklets. But they're also gonna go ahead and switch into a Chikorita, so I'm just gonna keep Cottony in for just a little bit longer and go for the farm down because the Pokemon that I have in the back is a Shadow Slowpoke and a Shadow Ammonite, so they're not gonna last very long against a Chikorita. Uh, we'll go ahead and farm down the Chikorita, and then now I can safely bring in Slowpoke or Ammonite, but I wanted to save my Ammonite for Ducklet towards the end, so we just stuck with Slowpoke. Yes, the Slowpoke only has frustration because I was just mainly trying to figure out what Pokemon I wanted to use before I put any sort of Stardust investment into it. And I figured Slowpoke, Shadow with Confusion would be enough to put a dent into any Pokemon without needing a charge move. I could just basically use Frustration for Shield Bait because people are going to be scared to use it anyway. And now Cottony versus Bulbasaur, we're going to go ahead and try to farm down, but it's going to go ahead and get the Sludge Bomb. Seed Bomb, there we go. Oh, but we had just enough energy, so we went ahead and brought in Almanite to finish it off. Then we go for a Rock Blast onto the Ducklet. I mainly just picked Almanite for the beams because, I mean, we all watched Twitch Blaze Pokemon. That was a pretty funny video. And since Badoof has pretty much been hogging the spotlight with memes, I figured why not just pick Almanite because that's still a meme as well. Anyway, now for this next matchup, it's going to be Cottony versus Slowpoke. It's a relatively even matchup. I go ahead and choose to shield this Psy Shock because I wanted to keep my Cottony healthy for any ducklets in the back. Now go Slowpoke after we charm it down. And then now we just go ahead and go up against this ducklet, just as I predicted. We do some charm damage. Now I can bring in Ammonite to safely farm up towards a Rock Blast, but he brings out... Bulbasaur, so I might as well bring out Slowpoke, and dang, look at that confusion damage. Four confusions and Bulbasaur's down. Alright, so now Ducklet's gonna finish off the Slowpoke, and then there's the Aerialist to take it out. Now I can do Rock Blast and then finish off this Ducklet. Look at that. Shields. Let's get one more Rock Blast in. That should be enough to take it out. Watch this. Excellent. Boom. It hits so hard against Ducklet. No survivors. The hard part is just keeping Ammonite alive long enough just to be able to take out the Ducklet. That's pretty much what it's used for. Alright, so... Yeah, we pretty much switched here because it was an unfavorable matchup. In comes the Clauncher. I bring in Cottony because Cottony will be able to handle the Clauncher no problem. They bring Growlithe back out. This is when I realized that I probably wanted to switch over to Growlithe because it's bulkier and... Come on, it's a Growlithe. Who doesn't love it? Anyway. Ducklet comes in, finishes off the Growlithe, and then now they bring Lotad in. I go ahead and go for the Bubble Beam for the bait switch, for the shield bait. And then we farm down, but then we time it perfectly so that Houndor would soak this attack, because I figured I wouldn't need Houndor from here on out. And I wanted to keep my Ducklet's uh, attack healthy. So now we just go ahead and go for another Bubble Beam. Boom, they shield it, we farm down the Lotad, and then we had another win. So yeah. And now move on to the next battle. It's Cost Tool 7. Houndor versus Vulpix. It was during this battle that I started to realize that having Houndoom was not the best choice because of how frail it is compared to other fire types. I mean, we went up against a Shadow Vulpix, and between the two, Vulpix was the bulkier one. But I was just working with what I had at the time before wanting to put any more Stardust invested into this cup. But anyway, we bring in the Ducklet, we do our best to farm down the small picks. they switch to a Chinchow, so I bring in Cottony. And then of course, Cottony is going to be soaking a couple bubble beans before it farms down the Chinchow. One, two, three. 
to do another bubble beam. Because it'd be a waste of energy to use a Thunderball. But I just go ahead and tank those and like a champ. Now we go for Seed Bum onto this uh, Ducklet. And then we farm down as much as we can before we can get to another Seed Bomb, which wasn't enough. So now we just go ahead and go for Aerial Aces to finish off the Ducklet. They switch out to a Vulpix, which allows me to farm up and then go for another Aerial Ace as soon as I can get through this Bubble Beam. There we go. We farm up towards the Aerial Ace, and then after that, charge up to an Excellent, and then take out the Ducklet for the win. But yeah, it's the W. Um, just want to take a quick moment as well, just to do a quick plug. Just deposit $100 into Weeble, follow the uh, referral link in the description, and then you'll get up to two free stocks worth up to, I believe, $1,800. But yeah, you get free socks, I get free socks, and then we all win. Anyway, back to the battle. Ducklet versus Vulpix. We do a Bubble Beam, or sorry, an Aerial Ace, and then they switch out to Skrelp. I go ahead and go for another Aerial Ace here. Should have went for a Brave Bird, but either way, work with what we got. I switch to Cottony. They keep doing a Poison Sting, and then after that, try to use the Sludge Bomb. I shield it, so we take out the Vulpix and the Skrelp with Cottony, and then they bring in the Cottony of their own. But since I have Growlithe in the back, we pretty much have this game in the bag. I just need to surprise them with what's in the end. There we go. We use Ember, and then we win. All right. Next up is Dirt Road Mammal. Oh, by the way, guys, feel free to leave a like and subscribe just to stay tuned for any notifications if you like this content. Anyway, back to the battle. Um, they switched to a Ducklet up, up against a Growlithe. I switched to the Growlithe, too, so we're locked into this fight. Um, I just went for a Body Slam, and then after that, we just sacrificed a Growlithe, and then in comes Cottony to answer his Ducklet. I switched back to Charm because I realized that I need the Charm more than Razor Life, especially if I get stuck with uh, Cottony Mirror Matches. I would be dead in the water with the Razor Leaf. Speaking of which, right here, see, I would have been screwed with the uh, Razor Leaf. That's why you need to just stick the Charm no matter what. So we farm down the Cottony to near defeat, and then after that, we go for an Air Lace with the Ducklet onto the Slowpoke that switches in. And then we try to get one more, but they're going to use their Psy Shock here. Oh, Psychic. And then, actually, you know what? We had no choice but to go for a Brave Bird. So we do the Brave Bird to take out the Slowpoke. And then after that, we farm down the Cottony. And then that's another W in the books. All right, now for our last match in this video set. It's X Motiti Kakadon. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then it's Ducklet versus Cottony for the lead. I go for the Aerial Ace here on the Cottony, and I predicted a shield, which it was. And then after that, we go for, we tried to go for another shield, but then they switched over to Ducklet, so I figured might as well bring out my Cottony. Um, here, I was predicting like an Aerial Ace, but instead they go for Bubble Beam, so we just go ahead and burn a shield and took the bait. They go for another Bubble Beam, but I knew better to shield it because I was just going to be like, well, we can sacrifice the Cottony, but instead they went for a Bubble Beam to get their Ducklet taken out. So now back out comes their Cottony. I'm going to go ahead and go with a C-Bomb to do the much needed chip damage, and they're going to go for a C-Bomb of their own, which is going to take out my Cottony. I bring out Ducklet, uh, sorry, Growlithe, but then it wasn't enough. So we're just going to go ahead and keep Growlithe in here, but we're going to shield this Bubble Beam and then go for a Body Slam just so that we can do some extra chip damage on here. And then we can bring out Ducklet, go straight for the Brave Bird just to sacrifice the Ducklet and finish off the Chin Chow. And now it's Cottony versus Growlithe. We farm down the Cottony for the win. Thanks again for watching. Bye.